Welcome back to the pbgs.com. In this second tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, how to create your own sounds on the PBG 360 Wave computer, should you have one. Um, it's quite simple actually, and it's very, 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 very powerful. Um, in general, you can get very far by using only the 10 um, faders over here and some of the, of, of the parameters over here. So I'm going to choose a program like the, the most simple one in this synthesizer is probably number 20, which is um, just a sound going like that. And um, by doing something as simple as using the APDSI envelope over here, the attack peak decay sustain release envelope, I can make the, um, the waves in the wavetable, um, you know, go crazy like you like you know it from any other PBG synth. So I'm gonna take the transform button, which is my um, which is the fader by which I choose any of the 64 waves in a wavetable, like and I'm gonna take it all the way down just for starters. And the attack, P, decay, sustain, release. So there you go. You have the AR envelope, which is by default set up to control um, the amplitude. So, for instance, if I do like that, you can hear the attack go up or the um, the release. Like that. Um, one of the powerful things in general about the PBG synthesizers is the ability to, to, to stack two voices. Um, known as groups, as you probably know. So by choosing the keyboard mode 1, I'm gonna have, you know, two oscillators playing at once, each with its own set of parameters. So, yeah, by choosing one, I have the, the program from before with a little release. And my group selector over here is gonna choose the release for the second group. So you can very quickly go, go crazy. I'm just going to show you how you can um, read in the wavetable from another program. In this case, I'm using um, I'm still using wavetable 20 as I chose program 20. So I'm going to press my program number and go for, well, I don't know, 25. And press magnitude or the group selector button to read the waves like that. So now it's, it's the exact same parameters, but it has a different set of waves. In this case, wave table 25. I'm going to try to read number 21, just for the fun of it. Just going to show you um, the power of the envelope. You have the speed and the delay um, faders over here. The delay is. I'm just going to put it in keyboard zero again to make it um, to make it show what it is. Hey, and maybe it's a good idea to actually have the NFO controlling something. So I'm going to let it control um, the um, the pitch. Like that. So I'm going to set the speed up to about half. And you can hear there's a certain amount of time, not much, but a certain amount of time 
going uh, before it, the end the other hole kicks in. I mean, if I take it down, it'll go, it's going to kick in instantly. It's all digital, huh? Also, the modulation control will control the the shape of the LFO. So. Just gonna load in wave table eight just to try to see what happens. Not much. How about the wave table ten? Finally, let me show you the the, the semitone. Excuse me, this yeah, the semitone uh, tuning functionalities. So I'm just gonna choose parameter zero, which is voice one. I'm gonna press the the, the semitone and uh, give it a magnitude of two. So you can hear it like this. And um, the parameter one, see my tune. And so forth. I'm just gonna punch in some numbers. It's not exactly um, probably the best you have ever heard. But it's going to show you what it what I mean. So there you go. There's the PPG three sixty wave computer. Very, very basic demonstration of, um, of how to program it. So uh, I hope to see you soon on the PBGs.com. Have a nice day.